여러분 안녕하세요 자 토크TV입니다 제가 영어 성경 공부를 소개하는 장면들은 많이 내보냈는데요 그 안에 보면 공부하는 절차 여섯 번을 반복해서 해야 된다 이렇게 얘기를 했습니다 쉐도잉을 해야 된다 자 어떻게 하는 건지 오늘 한번 제가 보여드리겠습니다 먼저 여기 보시다시피 소개 문이 나오죠 이 소개 글이 끝난 다음에 다섯 번을 하고 마지막에 한 번을 풀로 해주는 거예요 한 장을 그러면 이제 여섯 번이 되는 건데요 다섯 번을 듣고 있습니다 반복을 하면 여러분 영어 공부 엄청 가 있습니다. 자그 다음 단계로 그 단계에 보면은 영어 공부 절차 했죠. 방법은 똑같아요. 그러나 이거를 이미 마쳤기 때문에 그 다음부터는 쉐도잉 1년을 합니다. 자 쉐도잉 절차도 똑같아요. 단 다른 부분이 뭐냐 이걸 따라서 하는 거죠. 자 또와 How to post the Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are the apostles and the faithful in the Christ Jesus. How to post Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are the apostles and the faithful in Christ Jesus. 두 번째죠. Our own portion of Christ Jesus by will of God to the saint who are in a position and are faithful in Christ Jesus. 세 번째죠. Our own portion of Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are in a position and the faithful in Christ Jesus. 네 번째 있나요? 자, 네 번째죠. Our own portion of Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are a person and are faithful in Christ Jesus. 다섯 번 했어요. 이렇게 이 절이 22절까지 돼 있다면 22절을 마치고 마지막 한 번을 풀로 해줍니다 1년간을 6개월을 반복 듣기를 마친 이후에 1년을 쉐도잉을 하면 쉐도잉 할 때는 동시 통역하듯이 같이 합니다 동시에 나오는 걸 들음과 동시에 까불까불까불까불 하면서 동시에 해주는 거예요 그러니까 통역 방식이죠 1년을 하면 여러분 영어로 걱정 안 하셔도 됩니다 여러분 영어 완성이 그렇게 쉬운 일은 아닙니다만 이런 방법으로 하면 영어는 완성됩니다 The first letter of Peter Chapter 1 Peter an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who are elect exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. The first letter of Peter, chapter 1. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who are elect exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. The first letter of Peter, Chapter 1 Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who are elect exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. The first letter of Peter. Chapter 1 Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who are elect exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. The first letter of Peter, chapter 1. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who are elect exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. According to the foreknowledge of God the Father, in the sanctification of the Spirit, for obedience to Jesus Christ, and for sprinkling with His blood, may grace and peace be multiplied to you. According to the foreknowledge of God the Father, in the sanctification of the Spirit, for obedience to Jesus Christ, and for sprinkling with His blood, may grace and peace be multiplied to you. According to the foreknowledge of God the Father, in the sanctification of the Spirit, for obedience to Jesus Christ, and for sprinkling with His blood, may grace and peace be multiplied to you. According to the foreknowledge of God the Father, in the sanctification of the Spirit, for obedience to Jesus Christ, and for sprinkling with His blood, may grace and peace be multiplied to you. According to the foreknowledge of God the Father, in the sanctification of the Spirit, for obedience to Jesus Christ, and for sprinkling with His blood, may grace and peace be multiplied to you. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to His great mercy. He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to His great mercy. He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. 
Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to his great mercy. He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to his great mercy. He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to his great mercy. He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. To an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you. To an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you. To an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you. To an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you. To an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you. Who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now, for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the test. In this you rejoice, though now, for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the test. In this you rejoice. Though now, for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the test. In this you rejoice. Though now, for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the test. In this you rejoice. Though now, for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the test. So that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, that perishes though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, that perishes though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, that perishes though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, that perishes though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, that perishes though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory. Though you have not seen him, you love him. 
Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Concerning the salvation, the prophets who prophesied about the grace that was to be yours searched and inquired carefully. Concerning the salvation, the prophets who prophesied about the grace that was to be yours searched and inquired carefully. Concerning the salvation, the prophets who prophesied about the grace that was to be yours searched and inquired carefully. Concerning the salvation, the prophets who prophesied about the grace that was to be yours searched and inquired carefully. Concerning the salvation, the prophets who prophesied about the grace that was to be yours searched and inquired carefully. Inquiring what person or time the Spirit of Christ in them was indicating when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the subsequent glories. Inquiring what person or time the Spirit of Christ in them was indicating when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the subsequent glories. Inquiring what person or time the Spirit of Christ in them was indicating when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the subsequent glories. Inquiring what person or time the Spirit of Christ in them was indicating when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the subsequent glories. Inquiring what person or time the Spirit of Christ in them was indicating when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the subsequent glories. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you, in the things that have now been announced to you through those who preached the good news to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you, in the things that have now been announced to you through those who preached the good news to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you in the things that have now been announced to you through those who preached the good news to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you, in the things that have now been announced to you through those who preached the good news to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you, in the things that have now been announced to you through those who preached the good news to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. Therefore, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Therefore, Preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Therefore, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Therefore, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, Set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Therefore, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. 
as obedient children. Do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance. But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. Since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. Since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. Since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. Since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. Since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. And if you call on him as Father who judges impartially according to each one's deeds, conduct yourselves with fear throughout the time of your exile. And if you call on him as Father who judges impartially according to each one's deeds, conduct yourselves with fear throughout the time of your exile. And if you call on him as Father who judges impartially according to each one's deeds, conduct yourselves with fear throughout the time of your exile. And if you call on him as Father who judges impartially according to each one's deeds, conduct yourselves with fear throughout the time of your exile. And if you call on him as Father who judges impartially according to each one's deeds, conduct yourselves with fear throughout the time of your exile. Knowing that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your forefathers, not with perishable things such as silver or gold, Knowing that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your forefathers, not with perishable things such as silver or gold. Knowing that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your forefathers, not with perishable things such as silver or gold. Knowing that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your forefathers, not with perishable things such as silver or gold. Knowing that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your forefathers, not with perishable things such as silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. But with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. But with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. But with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. He was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but was made manifest in the last times for your sake. Who through him... He was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but was made manifest in the last times for your sake, who through him he was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but was made manifest in the last times for your sake, who through him he was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but was made manifest in the last times for your sake, who through him he was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but was made manifest in the last times for your sake. Who through him, 
who through him are believers in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Who through him are believers in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Who through him are believers in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Who through him are believers in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Who through him are believers in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. God. Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. God. Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. God. Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. God. Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. Since you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and abiding Word of God for since you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and abiding Word of God for since you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and abiding Word of God for since you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and abiding Word of God for since you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and abiding Word of God for for all flesh is like grass, in all its glory, like the flower of grass, the grass withers, and the flower falls. For all flesh is like grass, in all its glory, like the flower of grass, the grass withers, and the flower falls. For all flesh is like grass, in all its glory, like the flower of grass, the grass withers, and the flower falls. For all flesh is like grass, in all its glory, like the flower of grass, the grass withers, and the flower falls. For all flesh is like grass, in all its glory, like the flower of grass, the grass withers, and the flower falls. But the word of the Lord remains forever. And this word is the good news that was preached to you. But the word of the Lord remains forever. And this word is the good news that was preached to you. But the word of the Lord remains forever. And this word is the good news that was preached to you. But the word of the Lord remains forever. And this word is the good news that was preached to you. But the word of the Lord remains forever. And this word is the good news that was preached to you. The first letter of Peter, chapter 1. Peter an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who are elect exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, in the sanctification of the Spirit, for obedience to Jesus Christ, and for sprinkling with His blood. May grace and peace be multiplied to you. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to His great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, 
and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now, for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, that perishes though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Concerning this salvation, the prophets who prophesied about the grace that was to be yours searched and inquired carefully, inquiring what person or time the Spirit of Christ in them was indicating when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the subsequent glories. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you, in the things that have now been announced to you through those who preached the good news to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. Therefore, preparing your minds for action, and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance. But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. Since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. And if you call on him as Father who judges impartially according to each one's deeds, Conduct yourselves with fear throughout the time of your exile, knowing that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your forefathers, not with perishable things such as silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. He was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but was made manifest in the last times for your sake who through him are believers in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart, since you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and abiding word of God, for all flesh is like grass in all its glory, like the flower of grass. The grass withers, and the flower falls, but the word of the Lord remains forever. And this word is the good news that was preached to you.